climate change to me is um, the human induced change in the climate. And I consider myself a scientist. And uh, one of the scarier things about climate change is that I think we don't know exactly what's happening to our climate. We won't know until the changes um, happen. Um, maybe it, it will be less bad than we expect, but it might also be worse. And as a, as a teacher now, um, when I was younger, as a young person, I never anticipated that I would actually experience climate change. And I think that's a big shift in our society is that we can see it happening uh, right now before our eyes. When people say about climate change, basically what it means is the changes in the environmental or weather conditions which are happening for a long period of time, which impacts our local, regional and global conditions. That's what climate change means. And there are multiple components to this climate change. When I talk about weather conditions, we are talking about temperature changes, we are talking about rainfall changes and also changes in the intensity of wind. In short, I would say climate change is the result of how humans choose to interact with the environment. Uh, and I say choose because it is a choice, how we interact with the environment. Sometimes the choice may be for sustenance, sometimes the choice may be for uh, large-scale production and making money, but I come from the, the tradition of sustenance. So we can say how humans choose to interact with the environment. And my example here is when humans overuse what comes from the natural world, it changes weather patterns, which in turn promote changes in waterways, soil conditions, and other elements that interact and react to its dependence on moisture, for example. Climate change from a natural science perspective is long-term change in weather patterns. I'm particularly interested in long-term change in weather patterns caused by the human burning of fossil fuels. We know that weather patterns can change because of other reasons, but we also know that what we're most concerned about with climate change is the uh, changes that are occurring because of human actions. But I'm not a natural scientist. I'm a scholar of language and communication. So when I think of climate change, I think that climate change is a wicked problem. By wicked problem, I mean it's an issue that is not evil, which you might think about when we say wicked, but it's incredibly complex. Wicked problems are the kinds of things that touch multiple social systems. And if we make small changes to try and improve a situation that's a wicked problem, it's very likely we will have unexpected or deleterious consequences on other social systems. Wicked problems can't be solved with technical expertise alone. Wicked problems always require the, uh, the cooperation and effort of lots and lots of people because they are such sticky wickets or webs that overlap lots of communities.